Part C, okay, what if it's not a, a, a square root? What if it's a cube root? The index is three instead of two. So now, in this case, the method looks the same, except we're not looking for factors of the radicand that are perfect squares. We're looking for factors that are perfect cubes. Okay, we're looking for factors that are perfect cubes. So what do perfect cubes look like? So just off to the side, let's use, uh, let's use x as our base. Certainly, x cubed is a perfect cube, right? What's the next perfect cube up? From x cubed. The next power of x up from x cubed, that's a perfect cube. No. It's got to, it's got to, so here's the trick. Because of the way fraction exponents work, the perfect cubes have to contain factors of three. So the, ex the exponents have to have factors of three. So x cubed is a perfect cube. x to the sixth is a perfect cube. x to the ninth is a perfect cube. x to the twelfth. All the multiples of three, anytime you have an exponent that's a multiple of three and some base to that exponent, it's a perfect cube. Is that clear? The reason is, on any one of these, you could write um, x to the something cubed. In this case, it would be x to the fourth cubed, right? Because when you have an exponent on the inside, exponent on the outside, you multiply. And so if you want to take the cubed root of x to the twelfth, how easy is that? Using a rational exponent, it's the same as x to the twelve over three, and that reminds us of the shortcut. Oh, just divide the exponent 12 by 3, keep the base, and you have your cube root. You get x to the fourth, right? Okay, so this is all just reminding you of how the exponents work. So we're looking for powers. We don't know what the bases are going to be yet. We've, we've got to do the prime factorization. But we're looking for powers that are 3, 6, uh, 9, or 12, or any multiple of 3, Okay. So let's do the prime factorization on 48. 48, factor tree. What two numbers? There's more than two choices. But what do you think of? 3 and 16. Three and 16. I, I think of 6 and 8, but okay, 3 and 16. And then how does 16 break down? 4 and 4, and then 4 and 4 both break down to 2 and 2. So the prime factorization is 2 to what power? 2 to the 4th, right, times 3, which is exactly what you said, 16 times 3, right? Okay, so we rewrite it, the cubed root of 2 to the 4th times 3. Okay, so, so 3 is, you're, you're done with this 3 right here, right? There's no way you can write that as a perfect cube. 3 is not a perfect cube. But 2 to the 4th contains a perfect cube factor. What's the next power down from 2 to the 4th that's a perfect cube? Two, not 2 squared, but 2 cubed. Cube. Yeah. So you get, so you rewrite it. I don't know why I switched to green. You rewrite it as the cubed root. Okay, pull out the 2 cubed from the 2 to the 4th. What, what's left from the 2 to the 4th? What factor is left? A 2. Does everybody see that you have a 2 left over? And then you still have the times three. Do you guys see that you're kind of undoing that law of exponents that says when you multiply like bases, you keep the base and add the exponents? You're going backwards when you break two to the fourth up. You're writing two to the fourth as two cubed times two. But if you wanted to check it, you could take two cubed times two. You got like bases, add the exponents. Yeah, you end up with two to the fourth. You know you split it up right. Okay, so then you have this perfect cube factor. And the idea is to split up the radical. You could take the cubed root of 2 cubed times the cubed root of 2 times 3. Neither one of those are perfect cubes, so let's just multiply them and make 6. Does everybody see what I did there? What's the cubed root of 2 cubed? The nth root of a to the n is a, right? The cubed root of 2 cubed is 2. So you get 2 cubed root 6 is your answer. And you're done. Ooh, okay, a fourth root. So now we're not looking for perfect square factors of the radical. We're not looking for perfect third powers. We're looking for what? Perfect fourth powers. But let's break down 800. Let's do the prime factorization. What two numbers multiply together to make 800? 
Well, there's more than one choice, more than two choices, but. So you're saying eight times ten? Uh, eight, well, eight times a hundred actually. So we'll do it. We'll do. We'll do a little intermediate step there. So eight times hundred. Okay. So a hundred breaks down to what? Ten and ten, and then two and five, two and five, and then eight breaks down to two, four, and then. Another couple of twos. So we've got how many twos all together? One, two, three, four, five. Two to the fifth times what? A couple of fives. Five so five squared. So then rewrite the fourth root of 800. Rewrite the 800 as two to the fifth times five squared. Okay, 5 squared. Notice the exponent on the 5 is 2, which is less than the index, right? So you can't, you can't do anything with that 5 squared. Okay, that part, that factor is as simplified as it's going to get. But the exponent on the 2 is 5 and the index is 4, so that tells you that you can pull something out of the 2 to the 5th. In fact, you're looking for a perfect 4th power of 2 now, right? So what's the next power of 2 down from 2 to the 5th? That's... That's a perfect fourth power. Well, it's the, n it's the next number down, right, as far as the exponent goes. So it's two to the fourth. So how could I rewrite two to the fifth so that one of its factors is two to the fourth and then there's a leftover factor? What is it? Two to the fourth times two, two times, five times five squared. Okay, do you want to skip the step where we break up the radical? Yeah, yeah. so just kind of circle your perfect fourth power. What's the fourth root of two to the fourth? Two. So you can pull out a two on the outside, okay? Really what's happening is you can break up the radical over multiplication and you have the fourth root of two to the fourth, which is two, times the fourth root of two times five squared. But we skip that step. And then you clean it up. What's your final answer? You have a two on the outside, a big old fourth root of, 2 times 25, 50. Everybody believe that? Okay.